This question was asked in GATE Electrical 2009 paper. We are asked to find out the Thevenin's equivalent pair are seen at terminals PQ. We are asked to find out the Thevenin's resistance and voltage across the terminal P and Q. So what we have to do? We have to or we must be able to replace this circuit by a Thevenin's voltage and the Thevenin's resistance followed by the network. Okay, we have to find out what is the Thevenin's resistance and what is the Thevenin's voltage. Now in order to do that, first as per the, there are no dependent sources, so we can follow the simple procedure that is we have to remove this unknown network. Now we have to find out the Thevenin's resistance. So in order to find out the Thevenin's resistance, the procedure is we have to open circuit any current sources to make it to zero or short circuit any voltage sources that is present to zero so we have only voltage sources here so we will be short circuiting this forward source now when this forward source is shorted out 20 ohm will also be shorted so we can remove this 20 ohm replace this four volt by a short circuit and redraw the circuit actually in the question it is Sorry, it's not 100 ohm, it's 10 ohm. That will make the question a bit more easier numerically. Now, we will redraw the circuit as we have the 4 volt replaced by short circuit, the 10 ohm, and the other 10 ohm. So, we are asked to find out what is the resistance looking here. Now, we have 10 ohm and 10 ohm in parallel, that will be 5 ohms. So we have found out what is RTH that will be 5 ohms. Now we must find out what is the Thevenin's voltage. For finding Thevenin's voltage we have to have the terminals open and find out we have this 4 volt and we have this 10 ohm and 10 ohm. Okay. So we have 4 volts across 10 ohm and 10 ohm and there is no current that is divided that is going into this branch so we can easily use what is the voltage division rule okay that will be 4 into 10 by 10 plus 10 that will obviously be 2 volts because we have equal resistances so what happens the voltage will get divided equally between these two resistances. So as expected the value will be 2 volts. That means we have found out VTH as 2 volts. That means the Thevenin's voltage and resistance looking as seen at terminal PQ is 5 ohms and 2 volts.